National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Jonathan Beatty, naturopathic doctor and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today I want to cover something that I treat a lot in my practice but is very misunderstood by a large majority of the population and that is parasites. Specifically what we're talking about are intestinal parasites and they're quite common and can actually be quite difficult to diagnose. But the first thing I want to make clear is what is a parasite? So a parasite is a detrimental microorganism that lives on or in you. Okay, people always think, oh, it's bacteria or parasites. Well, no, some bacteria are good, some are bad. If they're bad, that's when we call it a parasite. A parasite is something that harms its host. You know, we actually, uh, we require bacteria to live on and in us. We require yeast to live on and in us. We actually require certain types of worms to live on and in us. I know that grosses many people out, but we have a symbiotic relationship with these other organisms and actually without having them, we would perish. The human body cannot survive without its bacterial uh, friends and its yeast friends and its helminth friends or, or worm friends. So, uh, you know, these other organisms are very important for us. And so this is why you don't just want to do arbitrary parasite cleansing because if you're taking in therapies that may hurt your beneficial organisms, that can actually lead to, you know, impairments in your health uh, if you're just trying to, you know, arbitrarily treat something that may or may not be there. So you want to try and identify a parasite if it's really there. So that can be done through stool testing through your doctor. And even better, you can get what they call like comprehensive stool analyses done, which in which they try and culture the stool. And it's basically a little bit more investigative as far as what kind of parasites might be present. And it's basically a, a more robust test uh, that tests for different types of parasites. Because there are literally thousands of different types of parasites out there. And so it's hard to identify all of them. And not all of them grow in the right you know, test mediums. And so some of them can be very, very difficult to diagnose. Now, if you do have a parasite, there's a variety of treatments you'll want to consider. And uh, I always try and recommend going kind of slow and low with that because you can have reactions to uh, as the parasite dies that can actually cause a reaction in the system as well. So some of the things you may want to consider uh, black walnut and cloves, they have certain essential oils in them that you know, you don't want to take in too high a level. So you definitely want to work with a healthcare practitioner because those things can be neurotoxic. And if they're taken at the right level, they're neurotoxic to the parasite, but not neurotoxic to the host. And that allows you to eliminate the parasite safely from the system. However, overconsumption of items like this can actually uh, intoxicate the host. And that's not what you're going for. Other things you'll want to look at, again, if it's a bacterial parasite or a yeast parasite, you want specific anti-yeast treatments or antibiotic treatments. And at the same time, you're always going to be wanting to support your biome. So what you're going to be looking to do is increase your intake of fermented foods to re-inoculate yourself with those beneficial bacteria, maybe taking a, an additional probiotic supplement at the same time to really ensure that you're inoculating your body with all the healthy bacteria you need. Because also, if you have a healthy bacterial colony, that'll prevent further invasion by parasites and having a recurrence of the same parasite. Again, that healthy biome, that healthy group of organisms that live with you can actually prevent a lot of diseases, including parasitic infections. So it's really important that we identify exactly what you're trying to treat and then treat that appropriately. Uh, as well, some parasites can create a large number of nutrient deficits. For instance, hookworm infections often cause iron deficiency. So sometimes if you have persistent iron deficiency that's not otherwise explainable, maybe go and get parasite tested because it could be something like hookworm causing that. And at the same time, iron would help mitigate a lot of the side effects of having that infection while you're treating it. So 
Identifying the infection is the key to getting proper treatment. So if you suspect a parasite has infested you, it's best to go to your doctor, get yourself properly tested, and then you know, follow the treatments prescribed so that you can make sure that you do eliminate it. And after any parasite treatment, the biggest thing you wanna do is go and get retested to ensure absolute elimination. Because a lot of the times, just minimizing the number of parasites will allow the symptoms to go away, but then over time, the parasites will reproduce and everything will come back. And the more you do that, where you're not fully eliminating the parasite, the better the chances that it's gonna develop resistance to the treatments. So this is why it's so important that you treat it, treat it well, and get tested to ensure elimination of the parasite. So I hope the information presented here helps you understand if you have a parasite, and if you do, I hope it get, helps you get the appropriate treatment. Uh, any questions or comments, please post them below. Uh, please share the video to anybody you might feel would be interested. Subscribe to our channel. And last but not least, always remember, knowledge is health.